last week to the surprise of no one, to the annoyance of some, and to the likely amusement of quite a few others, Albuquerque's Johnny Tapia got a new opponent for his upcoming fight. Tapia was to have fought Frankie Archuleta in the rubber match of the two New Mexicans ring rivalry, each fighter owning one victory over the other. But Archuleta failed to pass an eye exam, and that was determined that he could be risking his sight in one eye should he step into the ring. Piss me off. I want it, Frankie. Somebody says they're going to come and kick your ass in your house. Instead, on Saturday, Tapia will face Colombia native and former world champion Mauricio Pastrana. He, uh, he has a right hand that just puts people down. He gonna put me down. Yeah, it's boxing, and the circumstances of Archuleta's disqualifications do seem legitimate. In Pastrana's most recent fight, he stepped through the ropes to face 2008 U.S. Olympian Gary Russell Jr., Pastrana lost by a first round TKO. I've gotten stronger, wiser, sharper, cleaner. Meanwhile, Tapia, the five time world champion with a 58 5 and 2 record, 30 coming by knockouts, fought twice last year. In March 2010, he stopped longtime friend and sparring partner Jorge Reyes in the fourth round. In September at the Hard Rock, again it was a fourth round TKO, this time over Mexico's Jose Alonso. Tapia of today, even at age 44, is better conditioned than the Tapia who eked out a disputed decision over Evaristo Primero in February of 2007. That was before a near fatal cocaine overdose and then some time in a prison interrupted Tapia's career. With me, I'm, I'm, I'm a natural. I'm a natural fighter. I, uh, you know, a lot of people say, "Guy, he's 44. What is he doing?" They come to my hometown. It's a complete different story. I've never lost it, and I ain't about to do it now. Read Rick Wright's coverage leading up to the bout all week, and of course the bout on Saturday in the Albuquerque Journal. For the Journal Online, this has been Mark Smith.